Today we're making an oak house sign. Um, full disclosure, this video was never intended to be published. It was our first ever video, so it's a bit clumsy. Um, but looking back on it, there's actually some really nice content that we wanted to share. So we hope you enjoy. Once we'd finalised the design for the house sign, we then stenciled out the lettering onto the front and the back of the board um, on a one-to-one -one scale, just using some carbon paper. We routed out the lettering using a V-groove cutter and a nifty little jig made out of two strips of MDF. The jig is a narrow strip, which is the width of the radius of the router base. This lines up to the centre line of our font. We then get a wider piece of MDF which butts up against that narrow piece, clamp down the wide piece um, and then pull away the narrow piece to run the router along that wide piece which is acting as your fence. Um, our router was lovely to use during this and cutting the straights was a piece of cake and even freehanding those curves was just lovely and so easy with this router. I'll link all the tools that we use and recommend for this job in the description box below so check that out. It was then time to crack out the chisel and just sharpen up those corners which was an immensely satisfying job to do. Using a chamfer bit, we ran the router around the circumference of the house sign, um, stopping 100mm from the edge because the way that this sign seats into its oak post, we wanted it to be nice and flush. Using two coats of a waterproof wood paint, I lovingly painted up our sign. Uh, this was quite a messy job, but it was okay if I went over the edges because the sign needed sanded anyway, um, and all those pencil lines need to come off. So we chose black um, for this sign because thinking about when this sign ages um, and the wood goes that sort of nice silvery colour, I thought the black would contrast that silver quite nicely. We began processing the post that the sign is going to sit into by setting our mitre saw to 30 degrees and chopping a nice point to the top of the post. Using the same chamfer bit in the router, we just ran the router down all four lengths of the post to give it the same continuity as the house sign would have. To notch out for the house sign, we used the depth gauge in our mitre saw just to limit the depth, but our, our little doodad was too short, so we had to improvise with our own bolt. Um, we then cut multiple, multiple lines into the oak until it was breakable with our fingers, and we just broke the whole lot off. And then it was just a case of chiselling out until it was nice and smooth. but. Don't chisel towards the edge of the wood like this, that's a silly idea, it'll split out. We were just very lucky here. We then measured up for our fixings and drilled our holes um, using a spade bit to just to ensure that we could countersink our screw heads. We then sanded the oak sign to remove um, all the any, any excess paint and all those sort of pencil lines. I honestly can't remember what grit to be used, but it's an outdoor sign, you don't need to be too precious with this. We then put down an even layer of Type Bond 3, which is the waterproof outdoor version of this paint, um, just ensuring an even layer of that. Then brought over the board, married it up and screwed it into place. We then plugged the holes with oak dowels, ensuring that the grain of the plug matches the grain direction in the board. Hammered that in, and then we cleaned up and gave it one last sanding. And Bob's your uncle. Looks beautiful, as house sign does. We're really happy with how this sign turned out, and so are its new owners. Um, like I said at the start, this video was never intended to be published. It was our first ever video. So we hope you enjoyed it and got something from it. Um, if you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up um, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do hit that subscribe button. As a startup channel, your support means everything to us. Um, yeah, so until next time, cheerio!